Hey guys, how are you? It's Alat Means Zero, and this is another tutorial on how to do something on um, Sony Vegas. As you have seen on the title, it is how to clone yourself on Sony Vegas Pro. Okay, um, this also works on Sony um, Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 9. This is also the full version, um, but this is um, on Vegas Pro. It's more smooth, or or it works a bit better. The HD rendering is so better because yeah. Okay, you wanna get yourself two clips, right? And they have to stay at the exact same spot. Now, if you're doing this outside, you have to do this real quick because of the lighting. If the lighting changes, your whole project is dead. So this is just one um, one thing I want to tell you. Okay, um, audio I don't really need. Um, now, yeah, it's me pointing. And um, right, you wanna now just see what how the other clip looks like, right? You relax in there. Oh yeah, just forgot one little thing. Properties. HD. Yeah, okay. All right, so here yeah, you have a big screen. Now you see here. Now, um, sometimes I say you know this will look a bit weird, but. Um, I'm doing this just because of the HD rendering and because of my tutorials. All right. Um, okay. What you want to do is want to zoom in a bit and you want to go in Event Pan Crop, and you can also access that by going right click and Video Event Pan Crop. At the corner just here, where Position is, you click on Mask. You want to click on the um, Anchor Creation Tool, and you want to pr um, press Path now. The half you're gonna half, you wanna half that, and you wanna make it look more like that. So now you can see here the lighting. Yeah, I'm sorry, negative. And now you have two here to change that. Um, yeah, um feather both. Um, there you go. Once you feather them both, um, it's gonna go together. And um, now on pan and crop, if you wanna see. I did point out a bit and um wait, I'm pointing out further and alright. Okay. Now once we want to watch the video, look, I'm here once and I'm here again. No, I don't have a twin, it's all on video editing. I don't know it works. Many people use this and you can actually see, yep, the cloned here and the cloned here. Now there's a simpler way to do this as well, and I showed you the simplest way. Some people just I don't know. So, uh, if people do the whole recording in one recording, sometimes it will just go fucked up. So I say you want to do two separate recordings because if you have two different recordings, it will look a bit stupid. No, if you have one different um, one recording with both of them together, it's gonna be be a bit harder. Oh, that sounded wrong. Right, it's got. Uh, you shut up, me. Um, right, and that's what you do. And once you have done, again, you want to render. But here's a twist. Once you have, um, let's say, some effects on one, right? So here's one where the twist comes, right? Yeah, that's more like gone fucked up, right? Um, just fuck this shit up, right? Um, if you like, gonna affect two of them. Well, I want to tell you, um, if I'm gonna do invert, right? and I'm gonna do 1000 now what you wanna do if you wanna do this one this half as well or if you wanna leave it like that that's your thing you can go on invert oh shit not you bitch I'm going to invert okay and you bleed them out and both have now been negatives so both are inverted um... you wanna make sure that the precise has to be 1000 it cannot be so like that, because then it's going to look a bit odd, and then, you know, people are going to think, you know, you're shit editing, and if you're going to do this, sometimes, um, it will not look nice. I'll tell you that, it will not look nice if you're going to do one negative and, um, one, um, a negative, right, so you want to leave both the same effect, you do not want to change them like this, um, let's say I'm going to get color curves, and I want to now... Oh yeah, this is also effect on how you can get negative, right? You can see that. Um, I'm gonna drag this one down here, and it's not negative no more. 
Um, yeah, like shit. Right. Um, yeah, this this was my tutorial, and um, guys, I will see you next time. See ya. Bye.